Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel. And if you're watching this on Black Flag Crypto Mining, welcome. Guys, make sure to also check this content out over on Odyssey because over there, it's in a free speech space and protect it. With that said, let's get started today on Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel. If you're watching, we're going to be covering 10 reasons preppers should invest in crypto. Now, <clears throat> number one, <laughs> I'm going to go right out, right out of the gate. Um, is that it's a loss in the print money. Check this out. Here's me down in my basement uh, running one of those uh, crypto mining setups I've got. I've got multiple setups, but like this is one that I just do in my basement. I can use to heat the house and also uh, I can vent it outside and also it pretty much prints. It's a free loss in the print cash, right? Um, now it's not completely free. You've got an electric bill. But the great thing about that is I've used that throughout the year to pay multiple things, which we'll cover in other points. But most importantly, the electric bill, some of my cell phone bill, internet bill, various different things. And once that you've covered your initial investment point back, then at that point, you know, it's just forward motion on making money. If you're electrically inclined, you can even do your own electrical wiring, which I run off gridcontracting.com. If you want to check it out we do off-grid construction for people so i already am an electrician but if you don't know how to do electrical working easily hire an electrician to put those 240 volt plugs in for you and then at that point you just plug up your power supply to your equipment and plug it in also if you want to check a link in the video description you can see where i installed the initial installation of that setup and of course growed it into other projects and other things but it's a great starter video for those that want to do it the second thing is great about investing in crypto for preppers is not only is it something to help you make money, not only is it something to help you store wealth, um, but and 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 pay for things and etc. But there's a privacy factor to it. A lot of people don't understand that there is some privacy uh, coins, tokens you want to say out there. Um, is that you have Monero, you have Zcash, which has a private and public wallet. You have Pirate Coin, which is the most private coin that I think there is out there. I mine it full time ever since I've been able to start mining. The first coin I ever mined was Monero, um, or first coins that I was trying to mine was Monero, then moved into Zcash and Pirate. So I've pretty much tried to definitely mine privacy coins ever since I first invested in crypto. Um, so the privacy aspect, the great thing about that is, is that you know you don't have to keep your coins on an exchange. You can put that your coins to a cold wallet, as you can see an example here on the screen. Um, and then you can do a lot of things with that later down the road. You can do person to person transactions. You can keep things very quiet, very private to yourself. Um, there's just great utility to that out there. Number three is the control of assets. We're living in a time right now where that unless you took the poke, you can't go to the bank, you can't even go in the bank to access the bank to get your funds. Uh, whereas that, you know, with, um, with having privacy coins with having crypto with having the ability to send from person to person or wallet there's a lot of ways to cash that out you can also cash it out through cash app um, yes these things are taxable but there's an opportunity for you to um, take advantage of that and if you don't have a cash app cash app links in the video description below by all means check that out it helps you get some funds helps me get some funds just for telling you about it you're welcome um, next up uh, number four is got the ability to buy and sell without an institution this is my crypto.com card, all right? And I've got the Ruby card right now. You have $400 invested in Crowcoin, which you can check the link in the video description below. You sign up, you invest $400 in the Crowcoin, um, crypto.com's own uh, coin. Then uh, you hold that asset for, I believe it's 90 days. And then once that, you can cash that out. But the great thing about it is, is I get 2% cash back on everything I use this for. And it comes back to me in Crow. So I can upgrade that and get more percentage back in crypto, uh, which later you can convert to any coin you want. As you can see, huge supporter of Shiba Inu. Um, so the great thing about that is also is that I can buy stuff using my crypto. So I literally can mine it, put it into my crypto, have it mine into my crypto.com account, and then I can literally go pay for stuff for that. All right, and I'll get into that in just a minute because the thing about it is, is you want to be able to convert that to tangible assets and we'll touch on that shortly but like i said guys links in the video description below please use my link code and the referral code address you get 25 dollars. i get 25 dollars. you're going to sign up anyway so please do me a favor appreciate you number five is the wi-fi hack a lot of people's like well 
If we get shut out of having internet later down the road, what are we gonna do? Folks, the internet's here to stay. Welcome to the metaverse. Like craziness on a level that I never wanna enter into. But the great thing about that is, is that with the need for internet around the world, the desire to have internet, Wi-Fi is a big thing that a lot of places offer for free. You can go to McDonald's, get a drink, sit down, use their Wi-Fi. Park in the parking lot, use their Wi-Fi. A lot of different places, Wi-Fi is free. If you can access your wallet, you can send the transaction you need to, you can cash out what you need to, there's a lot of ability and utility for that, whereas opposed to if you ever ban from the bank, you're in a bad spot, just saying. Number six is the fast appreciation. If you're careful, especially with alternate coins, like Shiba Inu and certain other things, if you give time to these things a couple years here and there, um, then you know you can make a good return on investment as opposed to leaving your money sitting in the bank account or etc. So that when the crap does really hit the fan one day down the road and it, you have pulled your assets a couple years down the road and invested into the food, power, water, shelter, etc., security, then you have got a quicker return than as if you would have just left it sitting in the bank anyway. You're actually doing something productive with it. Take it from me. I bought a lot of stuff with crypto and paid bills. It's changing my life. Um, so anyway, moving forward, and after fast appreciation of the assets possibility, and don't get me wrong, please don't take this video. I, I think I'll probably have to put a disclaimer at the beginning. This is not um, financial advice, so to say. You just consider this entertainment purposes. Um, next up, we have convertible to a tangible asset. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Taurus, and I believe this one was the G3. Yeah, tangible asset. Mine Zcash, traded it in, cashed it out, bought this in the gun store, bought with crypto. I can physically touch this. I haven't even opened this and shot the gun yet. But this pistol was bought with mining Zcash in my basement. That is literally a license to print cash. I'm holding something tangible, just saying. Okay, so, and I bought a lot of things for crypto. Paid bills for crypto. I'm not saying that to brag. You can too. There's even a video to help you get all past the uh, the hurdles and the stumbling blocks that I went through to do it. Because I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't try to act like I know it all, because I sure don't. But when it comes to being an electrician, I like to think that I'm a seasoned master electrician on some of this stuff. But dude, setting up Bitcoin, whoo, that was rough. But I finally figured it out, and now we're doing great. But hopefully you can get past a lot of those hurdles a lot quicker. Now, and keep in mind that video is, the link for that video is in the video description below. Next up, we have few hold crypto and in the world right now. And you give it a few years, and the thing is, is that if you look at the percentages that are out there right now, across the world, the people that hold crypto, it's very low, guys. Imagine when it gets to 10% of the world hold crypto. Values are going to skyrocket. Even if you own older miners, uh, even if you've only bought a little bit of crypto, regardless if you mine or you just buy and hold, it is going to be insane what this is worth later, especially as countries continue to print fiat money that's worth nothing. Um, a lot of businesses are starting to accept crypto because there's actually finite amounts. AMC, the third month of this pagan year that we're in right now, 2022. I say pagan year because if you haven't checked out the Father's Looney Solar Scriptural Biblical Calendar, make sure to check it out at worldslastchance.com. Free downloadable app. You can learn a lot about the biblical calendar and start following it. But with that said, the third month of this pagan year and what would be March, uh, AMC is going to be accepting Shibcoin for payments to go watch movies. Uh, and that's just one little small example tidbit of like news coming forward. I mean, like, there's a lot of utility that's coming for a lot of these coins and tokens out there now, and companies are starting to catch on to this and getting serious about it. Number nine is government interference. You've got three situations going on in the world right now. You have governments that are ignorant to Bitcoin but are really trying to learn and maybe integrate it. You have countries that are full on board for it. Um, you know, like, I mean, you can just look at the countries this year, all right? like El Salvador. You can look at a bunch of different ones that are starting to really embrace it. And then you have China where it's completely banning it. So, I mean, it's all across the board. But the great thing about it is, is there's just really no stopping crypto. It's going to become something out there. All right. And so, you know, it's something you have to handle with kid gloves. But in the meantime, you, you, it's one of those things where you can play the long game 
and you can play the short game, okay? The short game is you mine it, you get you something tangible out of it. After you've went positive, uh, you know, forward motion on investment, at that point, it, if you want to stack it and hold, hey, you know, you've already paid your mining equipment off, it's already paying your electric bill usage, you're making profit, good for you. Do whatever you want with it at this point. And the last thing, which is also a reminder, if you didn't hear me at the beginning of this video, is so make sure to go over to Odyssey, links in the video description below, and subscribe over there to the channel over there. Uh, we just did a recent giveaway for MREs. I'm gonna continue to do giveaways this year over there, but I'll have nothing to do with giveaways on YouTube anymore, guys. I'm eventually gonna migrate away from YouTube. Uh, but the blockchain technology that crypto offers, there's a great thing about blockchain technology is like with library over there, is Odyssey is protected and, and, and cased in that, right? Well, it's a free speech space too. So I don't have to worry about somebody just pushing the delete button and my content just disappearing into oblivion. Uh, it's, there, there's a lot of utility for the blockchain technology and because of that, crypto is here to stay. So guys, that's my 10 reasons why you should invest in crypto, mine it, hold it, use it, get the utility out of it. Um, it's absolutely made a positive change in my life. I just started mining this time last year. Um, I cannot begin to tell you the things I bought and paid for. And not only that, my mining operation is pretty much paid off now. So everything forward motion in this, it's just in the pocket. I really encourage everyone to take a moment to look at this, whether you want to mine or not, invest in it. Matter of fact, we have to spend money every day, even just holding one of the Crow debit cards and using it, getting one, two, or even 3% cash back or if You've got 40K or 400K and really want to dump money in there. There's even higher tiers. But getting that cash back every day in crypto for doing what you're already going to do, that's pretty savage. And there's just a lot of utility out there. And I think a lot of people haven't took the time to really look into it. And guys, I wish I had sooner. Uh, but I've been busy this past 10 years just doing all sorts of off-grid stuff, things. But I've gotten very serious about this now. And it's starting to make a difference in my life and my family's life. And hopefully, maybe this time next year, I'm sitting at home, Bitcoin mining full time. That's pretty savage to sell. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Make sure to check all the links below. And as always, till we see you again here at Seven Trumps Pepper Channel, hope most high y'all Baruch can keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends. And y'all, Yahushua name.